Manga Bay Reports is a series that shares evergreen articles from mangabay.com, read by myself, Mike DiGirolamo. This episode's feature article is Rare Pygmy Chameleon Lost to Science Found in Dwindling Malawi Forest by Liz Kimbrough on the 3rd of August, 2021. One of the world's smallest and rarest chameleon species has been rediscovered in Malawi, living on the edge of extinction in just a few scant patches of rainforest. They are little gentle creatures, Crystal Tolly, a professor from the South African National Biodiversity Institute and the University of the Witwatersrand and member of the expedition, said in a press release. Other chameleon species can be hysterical, hissing and biting, but pygmy chameleons are gentle and just beautiful. The tiny Chapman's pygmy chameleon grows to about 5.5 centimeters, or no longer than a golf tee. The species was first described in 1992 and was not seen again by scientists until 2016, when researchers from the South African National Biodiversity Institute and the Museums of Malawi searched for the cryptic chameleons in their rainforest habitat. Their findings have now been published in the journal Oryx. An estimated 80% of the rainforest of Malawi Hills in southern Malawi where the chameleons live, have been destroyed over the past 40 years, mostly for agriculture. An area roughly the size of 100 football fields is all that remains. Under the threat of an ever-vanishing habitat, researchers feared that the chameleon may already be extinct, so they turned to crowdfunding to raise the money needed to survey the area for any surviving chameleons. Chameleon supporters rallied for the cause, and the team raised enough funds to search for chameleons in the Malawi Hills. The researchers surveyed two of five remaining forest patches and found 17 adult chameleons. There are likely more, the paper states, but one of the forest patches is a sacred ancestral burial ground where the researchers were not permitted to leave the narrow footpath. The team also revisited an area in the Makundi, about 75 kilometers away, where captive-bred chameleons were released in 1998. There, they found 21 adult chameleons and 11 juveniles and hatchlings living in the forest. The first one we found was in the transition zone on the forest edge, where there are some trees but mostly maize and cassava plants. When we found it, we got goosebumps and just started jumping around, Tali said. We didn't know if we would get any more, but once we got into the forest, there were plenty, although I don't know how long that will last. Chapman's pygmy chameleons spend most of their time on the forest floor, so unlike many of their tree-dwelling kin, they lack a prehensile tail. They mostly keep to the ground, amongst the leaf litter or sleep low in bushes, where their leaf-like appearance comes in handy as camouflage. They are mostly brown, but they can change to quite beautiful blues and greens with little dots all over them, and that's probably a way of communicating with each other, Tali said. They also vibrate, and we could feel it when we held them. We don't really know why, but it's also probably some form of communication. The fact they do it while held in our hands could mean it's a way to try and scare predators. A 2014 assessment of the world's chameleons found that 36% of the world's chameleons are threatened with extinction. The Chapman's pygmy chameleon was listed among the rarest. It is now listed as critically endangered on the IUCN Red List. The remaining populations of pygmy chameleons are not able to travel the long and exposed distance between forest fragments to mate, leaving them at risk of becoming genetically isolated. Genetic testing of the rediscovered chameleons revealed that while it hasn't happened yet, this constriction in the gene flow between the isolated populations will likely reduce their genetic diversity over time. The forest loss requires immediate attention before the species reaches a point from which it cannot return, Tali said. Urgent conservation action is needed, including halting of forest destruction and recovery of habitat to promote connectivity. The researchers are calling for more surveys and monitoring of the chameleon populations as well as conservation action. They suggest including what is left of the forest into the Matandwe Forest Reserve so it can be safeguarded both for the future of the chameleon and for all of the diversity the forest supports. This has been a special Mongabay audio report. Original article by Liz Kimbrough. I am your reader, Mike DiGirolamo. Special projects like this are made possible by our Patreon supporters, so please consider becoming a monthly sponsor via our Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash mangabay. Just as little as a dollar per month will help us offset the production costs and hosting fees to help us keep making content like this. Keep up with all of Mangabay's news from Nature's Frontline at mangabay.com. Get updates from Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram, where our handle is at mangabay. 
Thanks for listening.